Welcome to another video by Ferros Technology. Today I'm going to go over a really neat research tool called Zotero. Now Zotero.org allows you to collect and document books you've read, places you've done research and collected information from. It allows you to put in notes to each one of the uh, citations that you've put in. And the neat thing about it is that it integrates with Microsoft Word and provides the ability to cite within Word in in-text citations and it automatically assembles your bibliography in whatever format that, you just, that your instructors need you to put in your um, references and your in-text citations for. So in going through this, I'm focusing on the idea of using it in Word and I'll end up with showing you exactly how it uh, functions when it's uh, used in Word. So you have the ability to download it. The neatest thing about it is the word free. I have used it for several years now and I have never paid a dime for it. And you'll see when I show you my library that I have quite an extensive library listed in there. It allows you to collect information, to organize that information, and most importantly, to cite it in your Word document. And it allows you to share your research by outputting various types of bibliographies uh, that you can share with others. It's available for Macintosh, Windows, and Linux. So you can download the particular versions and you can also put the extension into Brave, Chrome, Microsoft Edge, most other browsers that are available out there. Firefox would be another one. I use it on my tablet. I'll go into the website version and here it is, the website version. So you'll see uh, this is my web library. I have it focused on my leadership section of the uh, library and these are the books that are that I have either read or encountered uh, along the way uh, in my research that I've done with various uh, for various papers and so forth. Some of it's just my library that, of stuff that I like to read too so that's in there as well. Now the neat thing about it is that it's not limited to just the books you read. Let me show you what it can do when you see, like for example, here's a, a current article from today's news from USA Today. I guess Dan Reeves, the head coach that I grew up with as an NFL coach uh, for many years, the Dallas Cowboys, passed away this, this last time. But notice up here there's a nice little icon that says save to Zotero. So as long as I have Zotero open, I have to do this on my desktop. I, have, I can open it and save it to my library or I can look and save it to any particular uh, sub library that I have. And so what I can do here is let's put it under history. And I'm gonna go ahead and click done. And if I then go look in my Zotero application, I'll pull this over and you'll see former NFL player head coach Dan Reeves dies at age 77. Now the neat thing about it is it doesn't just pull the title and who the creator or author was, it also pulls all the biographical information that you need to cite it in any one of your papers that if, you, if you're doing research on this and need to cite it in a paper. So here's the URL that it came from, here's the date that you accessed it, and here it has a little abstract, a little uh, synopsis of what the article is about. So let's go on. Over here, I went to my to ProQuest. A lot of universities have digital libraries that you can access. I teach currently at Lindenwood University. They can access ProQuest. I graduated from the University of Phoenix, and this happens to be where uh, I can access Pro. ProQuest as an alumni of the university. And I happen to point this, um, this particular one to the dissertation that I wrote to graduate in 2014. But the neat thing about this is up here is a different looking icon this time because it's pointing towards a, uh, a, a dissertation site. So it changes the icon a little bit, but I can also save this to ProQuest by clicking here and I can go down here and go more, and I believe I have, um, 
maybe I not. I guess I don't have a dissertations section, so I'm gonna just save it in history again. I'm gonna click done here. Okay, so you, you do see that I was able to save my dissertation information um, into Zotero here. And once uh, that is saved, I can go ahead and move on. And for example, I can go to Amazon. Uh, let's say that you have a book that you want to buy or that you maybe that you've already bought uh, and you don't want to manually add the information to it. Uh, let's go, go ahead and show you that this icon right up here, I have it pointed to the hardcover book here. This icon right here allows me to sa save that information to Zotero. And if I go and look here, I've clicked on the icon. It says, start with why, how great leaders inspire everyone to take action. And it's Simon Sinek here and has all the basic information in the, uh, the reference here. Okay, so you can gather information and actually build your library uh, quickly without a lot of manually manual input. You can edit the reference once it gets in there, but not with a lot. Of, you can do it without a lot of that manually being uh, having to be done. How does that help me when I want to write a document in Word? I uh, deliberately took a piece of text here and I took that out of a social media marketing book. This happens to be the abstract. So let's say I need to reference this abstract here. And so what I do is I, I, I go ahead and I find the reference and I go to my Zotero here and I want to add an, or edit a citation, okay? And so when I click on that, it opens up Zotero here. I, it asks me what kind of format do I want the citation listed in? So the APA format is the one that I'm currently focused on and it's the new seventh edition. So when I click on OK here, then it gives me a chance here to search. And I'm gonna move the search box over here. And let's say I want, that comes from social media marketing, all in one for dummies. There it is. That's the one I want. I click enter here. And what you'll see here is it put that reference right here. Now, it's not quite perfect here, so I want to put an extra space right after the G. And I want to put the period outside. Okay. Now, that put in the in-text part of the citation. Well, what happens now to my bibliography? So what I want to do is I want to insert a page break and I am going to create what they call a references page. So I'm going to go to my home page. I'm going to center it here and this is my references page. And now I'm going to go to Zotero and I want to add the bibliography. With one click, it went and referenced the information in my Zotero library and it deliberately pulled the rest of the information there. So all I have to worry about, the piece I have to worry about here is, is this in-text citation. And then it takes care of the rest of it by putting automatically putting in my reference for me. I don't have to worry necessarily about formatting unless you've got a really, really picky instructor that that knows exactly where every single period and comma goes, I would suspect that Zotero does it completely correct based on the APA 7 format that, that I chose when I first put in the citation. I would doubt that it would have a problem because they're usually very, very good about making sure all the format is correct. But if your instructor is looking for a good clean references page, there it's done with the hanging indent the way it's supposed to be done. It is on its own references page. It knew to put it on the last page. And you've got your in-text citation here. They're neatly connected. And if you delete this citation, it'll actually delete the, uh, the reference down here so it keeps them collated. Because you know you're supposed to have an in-text citation right along with the reference on the back page, one for one relationship there. So that is Zotero. It's probably one of the neatest free tools 
out there to help us do research in our classes and hand in good uh, consistent papers to our instructors. Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, we'll see you again later. If you enjoyed the content that you saw today and would like to help me grow the channel, hover your mouse over my picture to the left and click on subscribe. There are also other videos showing on the screen that you might enjoy.